What's going on everyone and welcome to Movie Emporium's new review of Funhouse, the newest film from director Jason William Lee. Now before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. And if you like any of these videos, awesome, hit the like button as well as comment below on any video that you watch, including this one. So as we know, influencers and YouTube and TikTok and Twitter and Instagram stars, they all have something in common. They want your views, this is how they make money, and they will do most times anything to get it. So imagine if you took some famous, you know, of these TikTokers or Snapchatters or something like that, or people that have been in the media and so on and so forth, they're very popular, and you stick them in a room and you basically uh, have them use their popularity to gain, like, views votes and stuff like that the person with the least amount of votes has to comp compete and they're competing for their lives basically and that's what this movie funhouse is about it's about a group of individuals who have some has some kind of success in some form of media fashion they basically have to fight for their lives in essence I would usually say these movies, this movie is fascinating. It has a fascinating idea. But when it comes to a movie like this, the concept has been done a million times before, whether it be through something like The Circle or Escape Room or even as far back as Cube and The Running Man. It's a concept that, though it deals with the, you know, the current YouTube, TikTok, and uh, Snapchat and society, which makes it somewhat like original in a lot of ways, it is still the same concept of individuals stuck in a place. Sometimes they don't have any idea how they get there, but somebody's going to be the last living person at the end of the movie and so with that said it's a movie that i've seen like i said a billion times before so it's very you know paint by numbers very you know it runs its gamut and so on and so forth so the question remains in this aspect does the movie at least uh, offer something entertaining for something so familiar and i will say this i am kind of split on this movie i'm split on the fact that i found the movie entertaining i found the the ideas of being presented by james jason william lee very fun and his concept of like how far are you willing to go to be a celebrity what are you willing to do like you know you see yourself in the mirror do you like what you see and like are you willing to protect yourself to you know keep yourself alive and stuff like that so i understand his ideas and ideologies the problem that remains is a script point where the characters in this movie and we have actually one of the scars guards one of the uh, younger scars guards in this movie uh, i think his name is like walter scars guard which i thought was kind of funny because you know it seems like every movie that comes out every year there's at least one scars guard in the movie so who knows what will be the next scars guard in the next movie but with the, when it comes to the characters they're very atypical they're very one note and there's some of the most wooden characters i've seen in quite a while think of like anakin skywalker in the star wars movies it just there's no real like uh you don't feel for them when the next victim comes up you really feel like they are a stereotype or an archetype of a person you see on tv and i'm sure it was written like that i'm sure it was written as these characters are very much like characters you would you know you would watch on tiktok or youtube or snapchat or you know whatever thing is going on right now and i don't necessarily think it's a bad thing that they're very archetype but it's just the fact that they're wooden and the dialogue's very wooden and some of the acting is very very terrible there's a the couple of guys are from like england and ireland and stuff like that and they very much stay they very much play a stereotype and they're just not very much fun to watch um like i said you know Vol Walter uh, Skarsgård from Sweden, so watching him and how he portrays everything is fine, and all these characters are fine, but a lot of times they just, what they're spouting now and how they're reacting to everything, it's just, it's just, it's just the idea of just not a very produ well-produced, well-written script, but I think in the end, the movie at least tries to be entertaining, and when, like, the very violent scenes come up, the very graphic nature of the torture scenes and the death scenes and stuff like that, at least the ideas and concept are a little thought out in that perspective because they really feel like they're fun and entertaining, but once again, the director is very much running up against a very tight budget, so some of the, some of the set pieces and stuff like that really don't feel like they're shot in the house location, which is where this takes place. They feel like they're shot on a soundstage or, like, like, for instance, they could have been in a theater filming on top of a stage and stuff like that. So that's very much possible. But um, overall, 
it's still an entertaining movie. It's still a fun movie. It has bad characters, but it's a horror film, so I at least give it some pass in that respect. And like I said, when it comes to the ending, it's a little interesting, a little unique. But like I said, you know, the bad guy, he's a little generic, a little over the top and silly, but at least his motives seem interesting. At least his ideas and concepts seem interesting. And using these people to kind of push his narrative is a lot of fun. And, you know, these people definitely had fun making this movie, so I have to give them at least that much credit but once again the wooden acting almost takes it down a grade level so if i were to grade this would be like a, a b minus almost c plus because this movie has a lot of terrible dialogue in it but overall entertaining movie still had a lot of fun definitely worth a check so that anyways that'll be my take on funhouse uh chances are you probably never heard of this movie or heard, seen the trailer for it but definitely check it out so with that said uh let me know in the comments below what you do you have any interest in seeing this movie what's your favorite like escape room type movie like is it like cube or running man or anything of that nature otherwise let me know in the comments but if you like what you see on this channel hit the subscribe button to join movie emporium hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next if you like this video awesome hit that like button and as always See you guys on the next video. Peace out.